David, today the Baker administration released its Future of Work report, saying the coronavirus pandemic will shift the center of gravity in Massachusetts among the workforce. WBZ's Mike LaCrosse is live for us in Reading tonight with more on what that means for you. Mike? Paula, the report shows the workforce is going to look a lot different as we continue to transition out of the pandemic. That means there'll be needs for more flexibility for things like childcare. I watch this guy three days a week. The rising costs of childcare is forcing many young families to rely on relatives as they head back into the office. Governor Charlie Baker is hoping to ease that burden and make early education more accessible. COVID-19 in many respects over the past 15 or 16 months has shifted how Massachusetts residents work. Tuesday, the governor released the findings of the Future of Work report, which calls for greater flexibility for child care as more people work under a hybrid model. The report says as of 2020, the average cost of child care for a Massachusetts family with two children ages four or below was about 39% of the average household income. The state is using $640 million in federal funding to help address the problem. Our administration is working with the early education community to make improvements to the child care system to respond to these trends. So as we move into this next transition, communication is going to be key. Hearing uh, from employees, so employers during surveys and better understanding the needs. Amy O'Leary is with Strategies for Children an organization that advocates for child care and early education. O'Leary says the administration's funding is a good start, but believes a long-term solution will require overhauling the business model of child care. So thinking about more public investment, more flexible funding so that programs don't have to be fully enrolled for 10 hours a day to even have a chance of making it. O'Leary is also concerned about the availability of child care. She's urging people to check in with their providers ahead of the fall. Reporting live in writing tonight, I'm Mike LaCrosse, WBC News.